Welcome back guys, this is the King Wee there and this is what if Naruto stopped smiling for the pain. Of course we left off with the, the two year and a half year training that Naruto went through with Jiraiya and uh, during these two and a half years Naruto missed Tsukome quite a lot as she wasn't with him and she was doing her own thing and also the Akatsuki were on the move now. Of course, Tsukome would actually have to, you know, finish off with the Akatsuki as uh, she, you know, told Obito that she's no longer going to be part of the Akatsuki as Obito tries to stop her. She, sorry, she was actually able to get away from Obito and escape. Anywho, Obito did not have the time for this and uh, so he just allows it and uh, he says whatever i will find her one day she'll come across my path one day either as an enemy or as an ally now of course uh, she returns to Nor oh, her organization after a few months as she trained on her own as well and uh, the organization is actually doing quite well they have contacts with Gato or oh not Gato Tazana who actually gave him gave them information about the land waves and uh, they were doing some commissions and uh, anywho they were working for the sand and the leaf and as Naruto was quite good friends with the the Kazukage and anywho now of course we go through uh, the two and a half year training Naruto learns sage mode sage mode which actually puts him on the same level as Tsukome and of course he surpasses her after he learns how to use uh, the Rasen Shuriken and other types of Rasen guns also would be easy but well strong in it and then you know of course Naruto unlocks lava release and ice release during these two years and a half and uh, Leaves which or oh well leaves Mount Miyaboku and tells Jirai that he's going back to you know his organization and uh, they'll see each other soon. And uh, Jiraiya laughs, saying, Of course, they will. And they give each other a farewell hug as Naruto heads off on his own. Jiraiya looks at Naruto, who's actually jumping home truly to tree. As you can see, a grown man now, Naruto's mature, he's a uh, well reliable, he seems like he's having a good life and. Uh, He's happy that he got to spend the time with Naruto with the two and a half year training and also he is uh, already stronger than him. He has uh, mastered the well, siege mode too and anyway, now we go on to our story as uh, Gara is captured by the Akatsuki and uh, this is actually found out by Naruto's organization as Naruto and the Tsukome would actually have found each other two weeks before the uh, original meeting and they would have actually spent some time together of course they apologized to Zabs and Haku who uh, were like really you two you just can't you just couldn't go to the training together you would have made our lives much easier we did most of the work of, about this organization but of course uh, they were fine with it as the work was quite easy if they were honest and there are multiple members of the organization now there are other people that actually they would um, bond with each other do the things that they want to do and then they would just go on dates for two weeks straight and uh, just spend time together their love for each other actually grew over the years and uh, they've been missing each other quite a bit Komi has found you know, this a feeling that she can't live without and she realized that the person that she loves the most in this world is Naruto as she has no one else. Her parents died, her um, grandfather died. Of course her grandfather being actually quite the prick has uh, the only reason she actually has the Mangekyo is because she saw her own parents get killed by their grand by her grandfather. She was abused and everything and Naruto is the kind of soul that that she crossed well she crossed paths with and now she is uh, with him forever 
that's what she believes in anyways now of course and now they go back to their daily routine Tsukome is actually quite uh, well controlling of Naruto she is more like um, the wife that the husband scared of and maybe now of course uh, Naruto and Tsukome would be walking to the thing holding hands and uh, well, Zabza and Haku actually just laughed at them, actually taking a picture of them with a photo, a Polaroid, they'll say, and anything now. Of course, uh, the two well, were quite pissed off, but they actually saw the photo and it looked quite good, and so they kept it for their future kids to see how their love relationship developed. Anyways, now, of course, uh, Naruto and Tsukome would actually hear about this uh, Akatsuki thing with, from the sand village as they sent both uh, the leaf village and uh, this or uh, their organization Anywho, now they would head to find Gara and they see that the leaf shinobi already there healing Kankuro and so Naruto says that he'll go for after Gara or find Gara in the end they still found them quite late as Tsukumi doesn't Ne never really knew about this new hideout and so she actually talked quite long with Naruto as well and Akatsuki used an S rank sealing technique to actually seal away the chakra that would actually be felt outside the cave but of course Naruto couldn't feel even sage more anywho now of course Naruto and Tsukome would break in and uh, of course they see Gara on the floor while Beta was just sitting on his body Naruto gets pissed off and pretty much kills Beta on the spot since he was already in Seiji mode he had a sword out yes Naruto can use the sword because Zabuza actually did kind of teach a bit to Naruto too although they didn't have much time together but anyway now Naruto instantly decapitated Beta and uh, of course Sasori was actually taken hostage and to bring back to the sand and of course sorcery would be defeated easily by well, Tsukome as Tsukome just uses her Susano to just smack him around and then you know of course Chio would arrive as they actually felt the chakra as uh, Sai and Sakura actually came with Kakashi and Chio and then you know of course uh, Chio would be quite saddened that her grandfather uh, her grandchild turned like this and of course uh, um, well, Sasori said, it's too late for me, I'm going to end myself here, Gran Chio, I'm sorry for all the things I have made you go through, but I don't think I can go anymore, and then he, he just kills himself because he can actually, he has access to his own heart and pretty much he did, he pretty much, uh, well, makes sure that the knives inside of him would actually stab his little heart chip little thing, and then he now, Naruto anyways now of course Chio would uh, revive Gara right there and there and uh, people would be sad but anyways of course uh, well Gara would thank the leaf and uh, Naruto and Tsukome as uh, of course they return to their own homes and then here now Tsukome realizes that there is a well a massive problem with Akatsuki and they need, and they need to take out take them out also, Zabuza has grown quite strong, same as Kakashi, and the, Zabuza would be quite like, very strong now. So, would the uh, Haku, Haku would be much stronger than Zabuza, and he would actually be like on par with uh, both Tsukome and Naruto. Just that Naruto and Tsukome have just some techniques that make them way stronger. But anyways, now without Sage Mode or the Sharingan, of course, the two would still be very strong. However, they still would uh, be annihilated by well you know Mr. Haku here anyway so all three of them decide to all four of them decide to go uh, hunting for Katsuki members and as they were doing that they actually stumbled upon well Shikamaru Shino or Shikamaru team 10 versus the you know two duo of uh, Hidan and Kaku here Naruto Sukome Haku and the uh, Zabuza would be more enough, more than enough to make them want to run away and as they were trying to escape all, all of them since all eight of them would actually attack together and they would make sure that they cannot get away and so once they actually found them of course Kakuzu would go into his final form with all the hearts put together and uh, 
you try to smash up everything well you know he done was taken away by team 10 easily defeated now because they realized that well, well Tsukome knew about his uh you know low uh, immortality thing and so they did uh, they did their plan and uh, it was pretty much uh, Shikamaru doing most of the things and team and the rest of team and just supporting him and uh, you know uh, Tsukome, Zabuza, Haku and Naruto would absolutely destroy like I mean destroy Kakuzu yeah, well first of all Zabuza would cut him in half and uh, well as uh, well, Kakuzu was trying to, you know, stitch himself back together instantly. Haku freezes him and freezes his stitching back together. And of course, uh, Naruto would come in with if, oh, well, sorry, no, Tsukome would actually then stab him through the heart with her Susanoo, uh, Susanoo's blade. And uh, then Naruto comes in with a Rasen Shuriken which blows Kakuzu away. And makes him explode. Kakuzu would no longer be alive. Team 10 would uh, thank, uh, you know, Naruto and uh, his organization. And I'll call it the organization of World Peace and or the WP. And anywho, the WP would leave and uh, they would handshake with Shikamaru. And then Shikamaru says, I always knew that was you, Naruto. That guy that I saw. And Naruto says that, you know, I nearly got, I really thought that you caught me. I guess you actually did. And anywho, Shikamaru whispers to him that now they're oh, to, into his ear that he can see life in his eyes now. And uh, he guesses that it's because of uh, her right there, as uh, he's always been with her. Naruto blushes and tells him to, you know, shut up. And uh, Shikamaru says that one day he wants to, you know, be friends with him and live near him so they can always be together as friends. And then he now at last saying that maybe one day he'll return with his loved ones. And then he now Naruto would leave with the WPA organization, and uh, the rest of the things would go similarly. Sasuke would uh, defeat Itachi, and he would find out about uh, Itachi's truth. Jiraiya would go up against the uh, pain, and uh, this time actually take Naruto with him. And of course, the two would actually have to escape because they didn't want to die against the. Uh, Oh, well, pain, and because pain caught them really off guard, and Naruto wasn't ready for it either. Tsukome was left behind as Tsukome had uh, stuff to finish up. Sasuke would still want to, you know, attack uh, Danzo, and uh, as all of this was happening, pain would attack the leaf village because uh, he thought that Naruto would be there as he doesn't know that he's part of an organization and Jiraiya would tell Naruto that the leaf is being attacked through a crow that Naruto would give for well Jiraiya and yes Naruto has the crow substitution uh, as like in the original well, not like in the original because I, lo I love the crow substitution and anywho now Naruto and Tsukome would head to the leaf village as a sorry I have to unlock my home as they wanted to help out and uh, yeah that didn't really end too well for pain Naruto would find uh, Nagato and, and pretty much all the things that would happen like in the original just that here there is Tsukome helping out and Jiraiya with their talk no jutsu they're able to pretty much you know revive everyone and uh, right before Na uh, well, Nagato passed away he wanted to give one, uh, both his Rinnegans one to Naruto one to Tsukome of course Tsukome would take it as uh, she knew that this is her grandfather's eye as she tells them, and uh, of course, uh, Nagato doesn't have much time, and so Naruto tells him to keep the other one. And of course, uh, the events with uh, Obito and uh, Conan would play out. Of course, now Sasuke would still go to the Five Kage meet the summit to kill Donzo, as uh, here Tsunade is still traumatized as per normal, although Jiraiya was there. She was still traumatized because of uh, her village being destroyed, and then you now course uh, now the Hokage well the third Hokage would have wanted to go but Danzo insisted in going so Sasuke pretty much killed Danzo there and Naruto would actually go there as uh, he knows that Naruto is one of the uh, well he actually treats Sasuke like an older brother of his or a brother of his as uh, he's all, he actually helped him out in a time of need anyway now 
Naruto would tell Sasuke to stop this and Sasuke would go off with Obito as Obito would declare the fourth great ninja war for both Killer B and uh, well, Naruto and uh, Naruto would then go with Killer B but here he would go alone which would be a grave mistake from Naruto. Naruto wanted to stay with Tsukome but Tsukome wouldn't actually stay as she would actually join the war as a platoon leader as she is a uh, she would actually join the war. Yeah, send any here now. Of course, I've been going a lot quite fast, but there is a twist at the end. Now, Naruto and Team Se well, sorry, Naruto would actually master his, uh, well, sorry, not Seijin, but he would actually meet the Nantos and actually go up against him in the hideout of the World Peace Organization and any here now. Of course, Naruto would uh, easily be able to beat his own hatred towards everything else, and he realizes that he kind of wants to return to the village. And of course, he forgave everyone, and uh, now the <clears throat> Nantos would give Naruto a speech before they fought. Naruto said that, I think, if you really think you're fighting on the side of justice, peace. How can you really know who is fighting on the right side when the other person, when your enemy, is fighting for the same exact reason? How do you not know? How do you know that you're fighting for the right reason in this war? Where if Narkatsuki is in the right and you're in the wrong? Oh, tell me that answer. And then we can continue our, well, we can begin our fight. Naruto then said, well, it's kind of a hunch. I guess and I don't really know I don't really have an answer to be honest this that kind of confuses me but <clears throat> if you can answer it for me it'd be really a help of course the Narantos had no answer for it either as he has no answer for it too they don't know what is the right side yet as of course Naruto would then fight the Narantos and subdue him and pretty much the Nantos would start giving Naruto chakra. Naruto would join the war pretty late and he would still have to go up against. He would actually meet Killer B on the way and the two would actually go together as Killer B was able to convince the Raikage. Tsunade would didn't go with the Raikage as the Raikage only had to stop Killer B and then even now Naruto would already be in it and uh, with his flying Rajin it would make the war quite easy, especially against the reanimations, and Sasuke would meet Itachi and find out everything after destroying the reanimation, but Naruto and Killer B did still go up against the other reanimated Jinjuriki, and Naruto gets all the chakra of the Jinjuriki and the, uh, well, all the Till Beasts. Now, the war would go on a bit similar to the original, just that here, as soon as Madara, or oh, sorry, as soon as Obito becomes, uh, well, the Tenzo's Jinjuriki, of course, he would kill Zetsu on the spot. He'd see Zetsu as an enemy. He wouldn't kill him, but he would seal him away. Seal him away in a way that no one can actually, well, he can't get out. So, there is a massive change here. There will be no Kaguya, as clearly Zetsu is not there to betray Mahadara Uchiha here. And if Obito would be defeated by Tsukome, Naruto, and Sasuke in one big Susano armored. Or Majestica Tyre, Chroma, Avatar, and then even now. Of course, Madara would become the Tentos Jinjuriki, and Naruto and Sasuke would get their boosts by the uh, well, Sage of Six Paths. Naruto would come in to save, uh, well, you know, uh, my guy. The fight would ensue with Madara actually having both Rinnegan at this point, or not only one Rinnegan at this point, and the uh, he actually slipped away from Naruto and Sasuke for one second and took away the Rinnegan that Tsukume had and clearly it was his to begin with and now he has both Rinnegan. The fight kind of turned around and he also absorbed the tree of well, the, the god the god tree and pretty much uh, as uh, well of course uh, Madara actually didn't cast the infinite Tsukuyomi but here but instead he actually decided to slaughter all the shinobi there. Madara would send his limbo clones, slaughtering everyone, cutting their necks, stabbing them in their chest, in their heart, cutting off their heads, every single way possible to kill someone. He would instantly do it. 
Naruto and Sasuke would see this. Tsukumi would try to fight a limbo clone off. However, she was powerless. She couldn't see where he was attacking from. Naruto actually sent a clone to protect her. Of course, the clone was able to subdue that limbo clone. But then there were three others. Sasuke sees that Umadara created a jutsu to attack Naruto. He attacks Naruto at the, with a jutsu that was at the speed of light. It was similar to the jutsu where he, which he used to cut Naruto's uh, true seeking rod. Of course, Naruto wasn't able to react to it as he wasn't paying attention and was about to go and help Tsukome. But then Sasuke got in the way. Sasuke got stabbed right in the heart once again. Sasuke's life started flashing past him and looks back at Naruto. Naruto asked why. Why would you do this for me? Sasuke then uh, told Naruto he always was jealous of him. He always saw him as someone that could... Well, someone that didn't need the help of others. People kept interfering with him and pretty much gave uh, told Naruto that what what he would have told him in the original after they were both uh, crippled for three days or something after they lost their arm and then who now of course uh, naruto cried while sasuke died and then he stood up and went to tsukome and ch to check up on her mother had no mercy and sent all three limbo clones which naruto was able to defeat easily but then naruto saw mother come from behind he tried to attack him but it was just an illusion Naruto suddenly realized that that was a smoke clone. Yes, he has smoke release. Then there was a fog around Naruto. He thought it was Zabuza for a second, but then he saw, remembers seeing him get stabbed in the chest. Haku was dead too. Naruto lost everyone. He looks back to see Tsukome on the ground with a sword in her, oh, well, in, in her heart. Naruto took the sword out and was trying to heal Tsukome, but he had no healing techniques. He tried to stop the bleeding, but Tsukome told him to stop. She told Naruto to just finish off the fight, bring peace to this world. Please, Naruto. As she says that, of course, uh, Sasuke, well, of course, Naruto would actually have already taken Sasuke's uh, Rinnegan, as Sasuke would, would have told him to take it, as he's the only way to finish this fight. Naruto would have both seals in his hand and Tsukome would die in his arms. Then Madara uses the infinite Tsukuyome to try to take Naruto away, to put him away into the infinite Tsukuyome. Of course he's killed a lot of people but this was the cost to create world peace in Madara's eyes. Naruto looked at the sky and clearly wasn't affazed by it as the Susano flames surrounded him. He started walking towards Madara. His mother could see the night was behind Naruto, screaming at him, roaring at him. Madara was feeling fear for the first time. He smiled. As the older Hokage, the older three reanimated Hokage were watching Naruto, they were powerless to do anything. They, would, they could only watch as the Limbo Clone didn't bother with them, but as they couldn't do anything. They saw Naruto walk towards and yes, Naruto has met his parents by now, but when he was fighting the Nantos, that's something I forgot to mention. Now, Naruto was walking towards Madara. Madara tried to attack him, but then he actually teleported behind him, kicked him so hard on the, in the arm that his arm broke. Naruto then actually used the fire wall. He actually pulled out all the tail beasts out of Madara. And... And then looked at Madara as he fell to his knees. Naruto said to him, There is no forgiving for you. As he says that, Naruto creates a Rasengan. A massive Rasengan. A Rasen Shuriken. He throws it right on Madara's face as Madara goes flying. The Rasengan expands and explodes. Madara is nowhere to be seen. His body was disintegrated. Naruto had no mercy. He then released the infinite Tsukuyomi, but then, once the sun oh, well, the sun hasn't rose yet, the moon was still red, reflecting all, all the bloodshed. Naruto looked back. He looked back as he saw the Hokage next to him. Three Hokage congratulated Naruto 
and will will try to console him, telling him that although he let them die, he saved the world. He should be happy. Naruto says, "Please leave me alone." He was on his knees. He walked towards both Sasuke and Tsukumi, cradling Tsukumi's body. He loved Tsukumi. He loved more, Tsukumi more than himself, more than anyone else in this world. He, he treasured her more than his own life. And still, he allowed her to die. He allowed himself to get caught off guard by a smoke clone out of everything. He, was a, he wasn't able to protect his loved ones at all. His ninja way was violated. He violated himself. He wasn't strong enough. He wasn't smart enough. He wasn't ready. And now look at this. There's blood everywhere. Everyone in the Shinobi Alliance is dead. Jiraiya. Tsukome. Kakashi. Sasuke. Sakura. Kiba. Shikamaru. Ino. Choji. Everyone. Not one alive. The Sage of Six Paths then appeared and congratulated Naruto for his success. However, he does know what happened to the rest. He knows that this is against the laws of time. However, he has to. Naruto deserves it. He calls Naruto over as Naruto walks towards him with tears in his eyes. Naruto couldn't stop crying. Of course, the Sage of Six Paths tells Naruto to knee, to kneel down. He does. And the Sage of Six Paths pats his head, saying that he is truly his, well, the reincarnation of his son. He's a kind child. And he wants to give this child a second chance as he stopped the cycle of hatred. And he also stopped the revival of Kaguya. This might be dangerous. But once he returns, he'll have every single power that he has now. All the tail beasts look upon, and right before Naruto was sent back, the tail beasts all gathered together and shared their chalk with Naruto. Even the nine tails, that was uh, well, even the nine tails. Uh, well, Naruto now had the full nine tails, and uh, of course, uh, Minato gave his final goodbye to Naruto, telling him to change the world as it is. Naruto didn't know what was happening, but everyone else did. The Sage of Success right before Naruto disappeared told him you're getting a second chance in life. You will be four when you return, I believe. I can't send you any further, unfortunately. But just remember this. All these powers will be still within you. You cannot use them in your body. You'll have to train once again, all over again. You have to try to become stronger. Your body will evolve as, well sorry, your powers will be unlocked once again as your body gets stronger and evolves. Your knowledge will be the same however. You will know all the things that happened today and I want you to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes. Now Naruto, this is all I can do for you. This will be your final chance. So either you complete, you're doing this one last chance, or the same events will happen once again. Naruto thanks to Fizzle Six Pass one, more, one last time, as he was crying, and he gets sent back in time. Naruto gets sent back in time when he was running away from the villages. He was still running, however Naruto knew perfectly where to run. He ran as fast as possible. This time, he actually looked back. And realize that these are the people who actually he loves. He loves this kind of feeling. He loves the village. Of course, now Naruto would be beaten, but this time, once he was beaten, he started laughing maniacally. Well, not maniacally, in joy. He realizes that he's full right now. He has until he is 12 to actually walk. Well, Meet Tsukumi once again and find a way to save the world. Now, that is where I'm gonna end off. Hope you enjoyed this finale. And uh, yes, this will lead into a different what if, 
it's the first time I'm ever, I'm ever trying this it's like a little exchange what if and uh, yes it's leading into a different whole a whole different timeline and uh, maybe this might be the first time you know I get into you know Boruto for the first time what if yeah, I might lead that into there but anyways Hope you enjoyed it. Please take care, stay safe. This was the King of Weebs. I know it's only half an hour apart, but don't worry. This will get a continuation as a whole different what if. So the next part will, what the, if you listen up to here, the next part will be what if Naruto went back in time, and or oh, and that will be a whole different what if. And if you do listen to this bit, just uh, tell me in the description below and write hashtag back in time. And then here. That's what I'm gonna end off. Hope you'll enjoy the place to kiss safe. This was the King Weebs and peace.